Hello, my name is Marco Morales, and I'm a Partner Solutions Architect at Sneak. This video is about onboarding the Atlassian Bitbucket integration for Sneak as a first-time user. You may already know that Sneak lets you test your code, software dependencies, container images, and infrastructure as code for security issues. This integration is going to bring the Sneak results in line within your Bitbucket environment for an enhanced user experience. Whether you're free or paid user of Sneak, the onboarding process is the same. I'll show you how to onboard this integration as a first time operation. I'll do some configuration and then show you the results. This will take about four or five minutes. Let's start by looking at a Bitbucket repository and help set some more context. I'm gonna assume that you already have a repository in Bitbucket that you can use, but I will require that you have the ability to add application passwords and do some administrative work. So you may be in the need of having somebody else help you do this. On the other side, I'm gonna assume that you have a Sneak IO account and that you have the ability to add an integration. Chances are you're already there if you're new to Sneak and you just created your accounts. So let's look at this repository. As a person that's using Bitbucket regularly, you may have noticed on the left side tab that there is a security tab. Um, and when we click into it, as I will now, that you see the option to get started for free with Sneak. I'll go ahead and try it now to start this process and you should too. When we do this, we're gonna go through a sequence of configuring the environment so that it communicates back and forth with Sneak. First one is to give some permissions, which we'll allow. As this gets in, um, included, we'll be asked to do things like connect our Bitbucket with Sneak. And we're gonna go ahead and do this. You may be asked to authenticate. I am probably already logged in and I did not get asked for my username and password. If you're asked, go ahead and do this. You can see that I'm connected. I'll go back to the first tab as we're now directed to. Let's close this tab here. So within here, within the first tab, we're gonna see that we have to pick an organization. So in Bitbucket, we have workspaces that we map over to this thing called an organization within Sneak. That's just how it works. So I'll go ahead and pick the Bitbucket demo and that's where all of the results are gonna get sent to. We'll accept this and then we'll have to add an application password. On screen, we have some information to tell us, here's how you configure it. I have taken the liberty of already clicking those buttons to speed up the time and make sure I'm doing it right. So I'll do this creation and I'll get a one-time visible application password, which I'll copy because I need it for the next part. So here I put this application password, I paste it in here and I click on done. This is near the end of my configuration process as Sneak now starts to import the repository and start scanning for vulnerabilities. At this point, I'm gonna switch over to Sneak and show you a little bit of the effects on that side of how it's going. It's a brand new dashboard. I'm in my Bitbucket organization. If I do a page refresh, I'm gonna see evidence that yes, I am onboarding this new repository and that's good. If I switch to a different tab, which shows the integrations, which happens to be up here, but I'll click into this tab, which is already open. You'll see that Bitbucket Cloud over on our right has just no text underneath. When I do a page refresh, we're gonna see the word configured uh, show up right below it, which tells us that yes, we know we are configured. And if we want to, we can click on the gear to change those settings. We don't have to do that for now. So I'll go back to the first tab with Sneak and I can see already in line that I have some results from Sneak within my repository and that's good. This is of value to users because they like we're using Atlassian Bitbucket and they like to see the data integrated within their environment. If I do some clicking in here, I can start seeing more and more details and we have other assets and resources to help explain what it is we're showing here. But the short story here is all the goodness from Sneak is in line and you can start working directly with the information to make better decisions. I hope you like this video and find other ones as you continue working with Sneak. Thank you.